my loves, happy Labor Day. How are you doing? You know, this recipe is the most simple of all time and I never even thought of putting it on YouTube because I'm like, this is like the most basic of basic recipes and I'm like, oh, who's gonna want this recipe? It's like a quesadilla, you know? But this is a sincronizada from Mexico City and Oaxaca. And again, I thought that this was the most basic of basics. So I'm like, uh, why would I put it on here? But I guess I have to put it on here because I underestimate how many people don't know how to make a casadilla, okay? But it's a certain way and you have to have the right ingredients. So yes, if you wanna make your American style um, quesadilla, you can do that, okay? You're allowed to because this is, after all, America caca. Okay, <laughs> but if you want a true synchronizada, I will teach you how to do it. Okay, it's very simple. As I always say, it's very simple. Okay, it's all about ingredients. So, first of all, tortillas. If you don't make tortillas by hand, which I don't because I'm too lazy, is you gotta have the best, highest quality of tortillas. And my favorite is from La Tortilla Factory. And if you don't have Tortilla Factory, I ordered this from online. If you don't have access to that, you can go to Whole Foods or online to go to El Ranchito uh, tortillas, okay? Then if you're a vegetarian, then you can just do, you can skip the ham, okay? Uh, but you do the best Monterey Jack cheese. Um, if you're a vegan, then you're asked out, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can Google your own fucking uh, cheese. But I've tried your fucking vegan cheese and it's awful, I'm sorry. It just doesn't compare. You know what? If the aliens come tomorrow and they pick me up, I'm not going to eat vegan cheese. Thank you. Anyway, I have organic Monterey Jack cheese. Okay? Thanks. That's the best thing. Okay? There's no substitutions for this. If you have substitutions, then you know what? It's something else. Okay? Thank you. Okay. And finally, the main star. It is ham. Okay? And not just any ham, you know. Not just any turkey, you know, I have, you know, I've tried other people that's, you know, try to be like, oh my God, look, I made this from this meat. And like, yeah, no, I'm sorry, it's not the same. Okay, what I like is the uncured, slow-cooked ham from Whole Foods, from Applegate. Okay, it's no anti uh, antibiotics ever, like ever, because I went to the ranch and I researched. And I talk to the like, like the little piggies, and I ask them questions, and I interview them. Just kidding, I didn't. But anyway, um, yeah. So those are the ingredients for the sincronizadas atomicas slash quesadillas. And then I'm gonna make some uh, pico de gallo, um, which is also if you don't have the right ingredients, then you should just go home. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna teach you now. Okay. I hope you enjoy. Mwah. All right, amigos, for your pico de gallo. You need a tomato. You can either use tomato on the vine or you can use Roma, okay? Whatever your choice is. Tonight I used the tomato on the vine. Don't ever put these in the refrigerator. I don't know why people do that, but don't do it. It just loses the flavor and the beauty of what a tomato should taste like, okay? So don't put it in the refrigerator. Um, you can either use serrano, which I use serrano because it's a little spicier. You can either seed it, which means cutting it in half and taking the seeds out. Uh, I'm Mayan, so I can take a lot of things in my belly and I don't have karmic, you know, bad energy of my pouch in terms of not being able to take this, okay? If it's not in your culture to take this, then take the seeds out if it's gonna kill you in your gut, okay? But I can take it because I'm a Mexican, not a Mexican, okay? Or you can use jalapeno, which is, you know, it's cute too, but it's not as spicy. I like the serrano, okay? So you have the uh, tomato. You can use either yellow onion or shallots. Uh, tonight I use the shallots because I'm like, it's just me. So I just used half a shallot. I used the whole serrano, the whole tomato, and uh, half of the shallot, and of course cilantro, fresh cilantro, okay? I literally just chop, chop, chop away I don't need to make a tutorial about chopping shit. If, if you need that, then I'm sorry, you're beyond um, saving. Okay, so I already 
this is already used. I, I used half of it because I was too hungry and I already ate half of the picadillo. I mean picadillo, pico de gallo. <laughs> um, so that's the pico de gallo. I added the olive oil, the salt and pepper here, and the lime. Okay, I squeezed half a lime. And again, I it's so good. And if you want, if you have leftovers, then you can have chips with it. Okay, but this is really delicious. Okay, that's fresh pico de gallo. And if you want, you can add uh, avocado. Okay, and that's it. That's your pico de gallo. All right, so for the quesadilla sincronizada, okay, atomicas, whatever name you want to give it. Before you start any Mexican meal, you have to do a tequila shot or else your cooking, your Mexican cooking will be cursed for life because you have to pay respects to the ancestors, okay? Especially if you're not a Mexican, okay? So do a shot of tequila. If not, you know, a Corona will do, that's cool, okay? So that's what my ancestors told me, okay? Slash my drunkard people from the above, rising above, <laughs> okay? I can't believe you're actually believing this, but anyway. All right, so the ingredients, Monterey Jack cheese. If you wanna do your vegan cheese, that's cool, you know, but you know, that's, a different type of uh, quesadilla, okay? So you literally slice these in half, okay? The re only reason why I'm not doing it is because I already ha I have one in my belly. I already ate one, okay? So you slice like maybe one, two, three, four, depending on how much cheese. It's like a pizza, you know what I'm saying? You put a few slices of Monterey Jack cheese, okay? I um, had an interview with the piggies and they told me that they used no antibiotics ever and that they roamed around free and they were humanely raised. That's what they told me because I interviewed them. And it's again, if you still believe that, wow, I can't believe that you're actually believing that. <laughs> but anyway, this is my favorite ham. You can use whatever ham you want, okay? If you're vegan, you can use vegan ham. I don't even know if that's a thing, but show sure, up. Whatever makes you happy, whatever floats your boat, okay? So that's it. You put the you put the cheese in, you put the ham on top, and you put that on top, and then you go fry it and you shake it all about. That's what it's all about. Quesadilla. <laughs> Y hoy que tienes otra vida, ya te sientes liberada. 